from the station that's on your side. Winner of the Evening Newscast Emmy Award. This is Channel 7 News at 10. Good evening. More than four years after a massive fire at the historic Majestic Hotel in downtown Hot Springs, the city continues to rebuild. Today, the Greater Hot Springs Chamber of Commerce celebrated the 100th business to open in the city since that fire. Channel 7's Stephanie Bennett joins us now with why that is so important. Stephanie? Well, that's right. Hot Springs, nicknamed America's first resort, it serves as a getaway to many Arkansans and draws in tourists. That's why keeping it alive is so important, but here's how it's also growing. With a snip of the scissors, a ribbon cut in two. The Vault Restaurant becomes the 100th business to open in downtown Hot Springs in the last four years. We are well on our way to do an incredible thing down here in Hot Springs. Cole McCaskill, who oversees economic development, speaking at the restaurant. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Its inception signifies growth and prosperity, adding to a bustling downtown. But it wasn't always that way. Preserve Arkansas placed all of downtown hot springs on its most endangered list. That was just four years ago in 2014. That same year, the Majestic Hotel, one of hot springs' oldest buildings, went up in flames. It was a very contentious and very tumultuous time. But the city bounced back, the majestic fire sparking leaders into action. The downtown game plan task force was born, locals and business owners alike giving their input on how to make downtown a better place. It really was a new beginning and it's exciting what's happening and the things that will continue to happen. Congressman Bruce Westerman, a Hot Springs native himself, grew up on these streets. But getting the leadership and people in place to make this happen, that was the, the missing question. And obviously it's happening. It's going to continue to happen. Another big project underway, Congressman Westerman points out, the renovation of the Arlington Hotel. It's the oldest and largest hotel in the state. That project costing over $40 million. Chris. Stephanie Bennett tonight. Thanks so much. More than 2 million people visit Hot Springs each year.